Hey guys, welcome back to our everyday living. As you can see in the background, we've got the vehicle there, all fully loaded, heading to the scrapyard. She's a bit foggy this morning, I'll tell you. Very, very foggy, can't see very far. So I've been taking it easy, getting it over here, and um, yeah, when I haven't got the trailer today, surprise, surprise, I thought I'd just come over, see how we go. I reckon, weight-wise, because the tyres are good, we're able to get up to a normal kilometre speed and that sort of thing, I reckon we're just a bit over the thousand kilos, just over the ton. So uh, we got it loaded pretty well, like I've got one IBC pod here, all the old, all, all the light stuff at the back, uh, tried to level this one up, this was not coming back with us, we're going to leave this one hit at there, so I had to make it so that we could actually get the forks in underneath there to lift it off. So. We're only going to be coming home with two IBCs. Got it fairly well loaded in those. I'm not sure what the weight would be, but I reckon we're heavier this side than the other side. Just by looking at the tyre, she's got a bit of a flat spot. They've both got the same amount of pressure in them, but I reckon the heaviest is this side because we've got more weight this side. I know we've got brake pads in there and that sort of thing. Uh, so they do weigh a fair bit of, bit of weight. And uh, yeah, we're best to get to the to the scrapyard and find out how much we actually weigh. But if you like, put your comments below on how much do you think this may be. Might be a guessing game for this one. So um, yeah, we'll get to the scrapyard and find out how much we actually weigh. supposed to be 17 degrees today about average for this time of year anyway finally got to the scrapyard let's go see what we weigh well oh, she's got a dry pad very dry pad bonza we'll go right around I suppose Good to see there's no one on the way, Bridge. But I did see they're serving someone inside, so we may have to wait to get unloaded. We'll have to go and do all the melody stuff and unstrap and all that sort of stuff. But we'll go and see what we wait. See what it all is. Get my tumble line off here. Without the trailer. Oh, 3.68, not bad. Let's get this unstrapped. Oh, look at that, I had someone behind me. Never mind. Give them all the information. Two new workers here. Haven't seen them here. Snapperoo, get that off take that one right off we're not gonna need that I explained that we're not bringing this one back so they said oh, all good apparently their uh, squeezy fork don't work no more they had to go and get a hiring fork they had to go and hire a fork out oh bugger that's gonna get caught oh luck it didn't oh get off of there <sighs> At least they fix their ground up. That's marvellous. It's not a soup hole. Usually when it rains, which it did rain yesterday, um, it's usually a soup hole. So it mustn't have rained that year much, but only got to look over there. A fair old soup hole over there. Wind this up. Got a bit of time. They're serving someone inside. We've got another one on the way. So I've got a bit of time. You've got to come out with a fork anyway. Sit that on the floor. Down there. Snap a roo. 
leave that one on because we'll put it back around these these two front ones when we're finished take this one completely off Under there because I'm not moving once I'm not well, I've done that haven't put that down to there down to there this one off and we just gotta wait unfortunately because I can't lift none of this stuff off I put that on with the fork on the front of the Backo, the special fork I made. So she's just a bit heavy. I'll get the gloves on anyway. Have a lolly, a lolly lolly. Bit of sweetener while we wait. And grab this bit. It's only a walk away. About 20 metres or so. Nothing. Chuck it off. I might be able to get that old washer got some um, other stuff inside doesn't feel that heavy if I put it up on my shoulder it shouldn't be too bad here we go we'll give it a try there we go not that heavy as long as I'm picking it up off the ground from bow I'm definitely not doing that fridge that's got a 44 gallon drum in it Oh yeah, we're not doing that one. No. Go through there. You want me to push fork across? Oh, you got the pin there. Yeah, we got the lottery. <laughs> Old school, mate. That's a pain in the ass. Oh, all shit, shit happens. Should be right. Yep. Yeah, It'll tilt back. Keep going. That'll keep the 44 in there. <laughs> like a diesel oh man here will lose once they take that pot out of the road oh, I reckon I done all right with this load packed it nicely up we go up we go up we go he's not high enough he's gonna lose it he's gonna lose it no he luck Right, where's he going next? I better stand down the road. He may get it in there. In underneath the plastics. Well, you going there first. You want that wider? Need more grab. I don't break my pot. You got no extra here. Oh, there might be some over there. Might be one or two over there, but that was two weeks ago. I was here. Two and a half weeks, something like that. Up he goes. 
And don't break me pod. All the money getting put in. Hey, hey, sweet. You didn't break that one. Nah, that's good. Sweet. Still got a fair bit here to get off, though. That's a fair bit of weight on there. This back one's the heavy one. <coughs> Excuse me. Good, bro. It's, it's right in. My tray's not that wide. <laughs> Come right around me. You can get this back one first. Lift it up now. You got it. Don't know whether he's got it or not. That's gonna go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go in. It's all yours, not mine. <laughs> Jump in the bin. Definitely not wasting time here. Yeah, a short video for everyone. See what I can do on our way home. I did spot some stuff on the way home. Might be picking it up. See what happens. If I don't pick it up, well, you know why. See if I can get it on camera anyway. Yeah, a lot quicker than the normal rest workers here. Damn. Done all right with that. Sweet of wheat. Roll this up, get ready to check it over.
pushing back. This is all tied back down. Short and sweet video for everyone. See what the vehicle weighs. Without me in it, of course. I'm only about stone weight. 73 kilos, something like that. Oh, what are we? 2.28. Found it. I found it on the side of the road. Let's pick it up. Hell yeah. Start for another load. Oh yeah, we'll definitely take that. Get rid of the leaves. Definitely take that piece. Throw that up there, ready for the next one. Get in there, son. Well, that was handy, picking up that piece on the side of the road there. I knew I'd be able to find it. There was another one, but I couldn't quite actually find it. So, anyway, let's get down to formalities. What we weighed and how much we're bringing home in dollar-wise. So we took in 1,400 kilos, 29 cents a kilo, it's only pressing steel. So we got $406 neat, take their waste levy out. We brought home of a grand total of 352A, not too bad at all. Well, that's not bad for bringing home what we can bring home, $352.80. Didn't think we had that much weight though. Very, very strange. It felt heavier than that, but, hmm, but I don't mind it at 28, nine cents a kilo. So if you've come this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Because if you don't hit the notification bell, you're not gonna get notified when we put a video out. So till next time everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.